What's up everybody? Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, uh, good night indeed. And welcome to What's Up Vlog episode 74. Um, I say good night because it's actually about 10.30, nearly 10.30 in the UK and I'm gearing up for the Pitch Black Team Time Trial which is due to set off at 11pm British Summer Time. So uh, for all you UK riders and European riders where it's actually midnight across most of Europe, Massive kudos for showing such commitment to your sport and uh, to the team. And uh, it's great to have you here at such a late hour. I don't know what I was thinking when I arranged this. I was trying to be nice to our American and Australian and Canadian and New Zealand friends, but um, uh, I, maybe I should have just sort of tried to arrange it and then just given it a miss because I would normally be well tucked up in bed by now, snoring with my dog dribbling in my ear next to me. That's my dog, not my wife, by the way. Um, Anyway, I, I am excited. I've had goodness knows how much coffee and uh, I am kind of raring to go. Uh, so I'm going to get myself set up. A uh, quick reminder of what it is. It's basically two laps of the Richmond UCI course. Uh, the teams were selected at random. Everybody entered their names that was interested in riding into a hat. And I picked out teams of three riders at random. So we have a massive mixture of abilities uh, within each team. In fact, I will remind you quickly of who the riders are for each team and uh, there have been some changes since the original schedule due to a couple of un unfortunate um, uh, unfortunate circumstances where riders couldn't make it so firstly we'll start with team A which was Cameron Flynn, Kenneth Scramstad and Matt Bannon incredibly strong team until unfortunately Kenneth can't make it he's very unwell uh, Ken it's been a while uh, I hope you're feeling better soon buddy keep it keep up the good work with your zone one training and uh, your slow recuperation uh, certainly don't rush back to uh, to be racing too soon but uh, I wish you well uh, but in place of Kenneth will be the mighty me so I've brought the average FTP of that team plummeting right down so sorry guys you're gonna have to drag my sorry ass around that uh, around that course uh, moving on to uh, team B where we've also also had a change uh, originally Rich Siegler Nicholas Nielsen and Paul Shack senior senior unfortunately Rich couldn't make it uh, so we have the uh, incredibly talented Craig Sharp stepping in for him uh, Craig was someone that should have been on the list in the first place. Entirely my fault that I missed you off, buddy. I, I do apologise for that. Uh, so we have Craig Sharp, Nicholas Nielsen and Paul Shack as Team B. Moving on to Team C, they are as they were with Mr Keith Denton, Neil Clements and Damian Murphy. Particularly strong team, that one. Um, I've got all the, uh, the categories written down next to their names in this book, but I'm not going to show you that. But I can see, based on, based on their categories, which are the strongest looking teams. And there actually was some really good analysis that somebody posted up on the WKG forum earlier today. Re made really interesting reading, but I have a feeling some of those figures will be skewed by the fact that, um, uh, certainly Team A's figures will be skewed by the fact that I've taken Kenneth's place in there. So uh, it's slightly slightly flattering uh, to read the, uh, the expected finishing position of Team A. Uh, but like I say, that was based on having a much stronger rider than myself in the team. Anyway, moving swiftly on, next team, Team D, we have Colleen Wade, Dan Lell and Jason Arblaster. Uh, Colleen and Dan, you'll remember, raced uh, together in a time trial, the SCR time trial, which myself and Peter Wilson were part of as well. Um, I don't want to dwell on it, but Dan, maybe it's best you follow which way Colleen goes around the route today. Uh, I think you know what I mean. Uh, <laughs> another very strong team. Uh, team E, we have Niall Simpson, Len Capel, and it was Peter Wilson. Um, again, unfortunately, Peter's had to uh, remove himself from the list, so he is replaced right at the last minute, and I'm extremely grateful for this, for, uh, for Sean Scott stepping in and taking P Peter's place, so uh, another strong team. Good luck, guys. Uh, moving on, Team F, we have Michael Larson, Joe Harvey, and Andy Beveridge. Again, that team hasn't changed since the original selection. And likewise with Team G, where I almost... I, I, I want to say that these are my favourites for the win, um, but that, uh, it's between them and another, I'm not going to say who the other team is, but the, this is a strong team, this is Catherine Denton, Dave Crook and Inga Backman, uh, they have got some serious power between the three of them, so that should be one to uh, to look out for. So there are your teams, of course two laps around Richmond UCI, we've had to use the, the Zwift hack um, or the brilliant Zwift preferences app in order to select the course because I think it's set for London. Today, but um, it'll be nice having uh, the course pretty much to ourselves for this race. 
Uh, so I've done that, I've got my setup already. Hopefully everybody else has in time and sort of followed the instructions properly. Uh, so I'm now gonna do a little bit of a warm up, get my shoes on, get the recording gear all set up, and I will see you at the start line. All right, here we go, we're at the start line. Uh, very last minute, uh, the final team member for my team, Team A, turned up, Mr. Matt Bannon. So myself, Cameron Flynn, and Matt Bannon are all here on the start line. Uh, we heard that Craig 3, what's a kilogram of to start? I don't know what that means, but uh, there's been a lot of messages flying about. I'm just waiting for my faithful assistant, Lucas, to give us the start. He's, um, he's in charge of the timer tonight. Everybody should be using the Time Is app on their, their phones or laptops or whatever. But um, just in case, Lucas is going to give the team name and the, the signal to, to go at, uh, at the relevant time. So that's really funny. I'm seeing some messages come up saying that people are nervous. And that's how I felt today. It's really strange. I felt like it most of the day and then even more so as soon as I got on here. So it's a weird thing. It's a, it's a bit of fun. Um, I know there is some serious competition in there, particularly in the, uh, the Denton household between Mr. and Mrs. Denton. Uh, right, anyway, I have got, I think, about 30 seconds to go, so I'm going to shut up. I can't spin my legs, frustratingly, because this is a standing start, and uh, basically, if I start spinning my legs, I'm going to move and jump the start. So I'm waiting to see the message pop up on screen. Should be any second now. Any second now. <laughs> this is, I'm really nervous, it's terrible. All right, Cam Flynn. Oh, someone's, oh, don't jump the line. You've got to go back round. Go, all right, Team A, go. Team A, go, 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 go. Here we go, so this is how it should be. Standing start, I'm, I'm off, where's, yeah, Matt's got some power coming through there. Where's Cameron, 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 Cameron. Move, oh no, Cam, go. <laughs> Has he started moving? <laughs> Where's Matt Bannon? Right, he's, he's coming up behind me. Aha, right, okay, Cameron is flying now. He's 11 seconds off. So, I'm gonna take it relatively easy to bring Cameron back in. Oh, he's had a technical problem by the looks of things. Unlucky, buddy. Uh, right, I don't want it to burn out though, so I'm going to take it reasonably easy. Let Matt Bannon come back in. Team B are off. Good work, Lucas, my faithful assistant. We've got Team B going. So hopefully they're all paying attention. Right, so Matt is now right on my wheel, as is Cameron. Lovely stuff. Good job, boys. Here we go. I start ramping the power. Oh, they're just going to leave me behind now. <laughs> Cameras come flying through. <laughs> Here we go. Right, so Matt's on my wheel. I'm holding about three. Cameron, I think, is just having to ease off a little bit to, uh, to catch his breath after that start. Oh, I think he's got a problem. Not quite sure what's happened. I'm just going to hold it at round three if I can. Although I'm dropping Matt off as well. Team C, go, go, go. Good call, Lucas. They should be away. Yeah, I can see Neil, Neil Clements, Keith D. Uh, who was their other team member? I'm trying to see the name in the. Oh, D. Murphy, Keith D. And Clements, boom, straight into the high power. <laughs> and Cameron is 18 seconds behind, putting out five and a half watts per kilogram. Now Team B, Craig Sharp I can see is there. He is, they're 122 back from us at the moment. Um, it's C Sharp, P Shack, and who else was in B? Oh man, it looks like it might have just been the two of them. Wow, that's going to be a tough, tough 32k or whatever it is. Team D, go, go, go. Thank you, Lucas. Doing a cracking job. And look at that, Cam. He's back on us. 
Cheers, Matt, for the ride on. I think I gave you one just before we started. I'm not absolutely sure. Team E, go, go, go. So we're getting down to the last couple of teams now. I'm trying to keep an eye on the, the splits. Team B have pulled about 12 seconds back on my, myself. M. Bannon, C. Flynn. Now this is where we need to try and settle into some kind of rhythm. I'm getting a bit preoccupied with clock watching. I need to just settle in. And team F, go, go, go. There's just one team remaining as far as I'm aware. I'm hoping everybody stuck to the rule of a standing start because I think there's a real advantage to be had if you start riding, I don't know, 300 meters before the start line so that you cross it at high speed when your team's given the go. So obviously you carry that momentum all the way along that first straight whereas other teams are having to get up to speed. Now this is a good, good pace here by being set by Cam Flynn. I'm just looking, is it for Matt Bannon there? Is that a female avatar? Or is it just because of the helmet? Because if it is, I don't know if I've been getting confused. Team G, go, go, go. The last of the teams is on the course. Cheers, Eric Gray, for the ride on. I've got to resist the urge to press that button for you to use the uh, power-ups. <laughs> <laughs> There's a message there from Lucas, taking advantage of having my uh, my group text function on my phone. <laughs> Wishing everybody good luck. Hey, N Simpson, just taking the uh, sorry Matt Bannon, just taking the green jersey. Now. Hang, uh, I'm getting confused now because I'm sure that that is a, a women's avatar and that's the green jersey for the women's sprint. Now am I getting the wrong avatar showing up here or have I been really stupid and not noticing that who I've been calling Matt Bannon may be called something completely different. My sincere apologies if I've been getting that horribly wrong but I'm sticking with it for now. <laughs> I can see now Team B, they definitely are just the two riders of uh, P Shack and C Sharp. Just 46 seconds behind us now. So they are going great guns. The uh, Team C, Keith D, D Murphy, and Clements, 139 behind. Again, the time split between us is isn't really, it's not a deciding factor, but it gives you an idea of how much faster or slower another team are going. And both of those teams have pulled in sort of 20, 30 seconds on us so far. And I'm hoping that's because we've been pacing this incredibly sensibly. I'd like to give you some camera shots of some of the other teams and riders, but uh, I'm I'm bad enough at keeping concentration in a group ride as it is, but let alone keeping a nice tight trio in a time trial. I do not want to be flicking away from my own avatar for long at all. Hey, Percy. Percy Santa Maria, thanks for the ride on, my friend. Good to see you. Okay, so just seeing Keith D 
He's gone 10 seconds faster at the sprint split than I think his nearest competitor. I didn't see who that was. And someone else there, I think from the same team, saying that they forgot to put their fan on. Whoa, that'd be enough for me to jump off the bike and quit. <laughs> so fair play. I'll tell you, a massive kudos to Craig Sharp and Paul Shack. Riding with just the two of them. I can't see, I'm looking down to see if there's any others riding in just a pair. Uh, it doesn't look like it, which is, which is great news. I thought um, myself and Cameron would be until the very last minute when Mr, Mrs, Miss, Master, Lord, Bannon showed up. <laughs> I feel terrible now. I have, I've written down Matt Bannon in my book and just assumed it was Matt Matthew. And uh, I'm very sorry if that's uh, horribly wrong. Massive, massive thanks, by the way, to uh, Kenneth Scramstad, who is going to be, or will be streaming this on, I think, both his Beam and his uh, YouTube channels. So thanks very much for that buddy, keep up the great work. I will sort you out some graphics at some point, I promise. I'm just a little bit, uh, I've been a bit busy at work this week and uh, I'm not the best at time management as it is. So. But I will work something out. And uh, we, were, um, we were possibly gonna be on Swift Community Live as well. Uh, I had a message sort of requesting details for the race. But uh, Johnny, who messaged me, unfortunately has been unwell this week and has a, what I gather, a two week old baby. So, firstly, congratulations on that. And secondly, hope you get better soon. Uh, and thirdly, that's a perfectly understandable reason not to be putting too much well needed time and rest into uh, live streaming Zwift races. So, but I was very grateful for the offer and uh, if this goes, goes well, I hope we'll be doing many more. Uh, it'll be great to get the support of uh, ZCL and uh, as many other streamers as we possibly can. I'm just dropping off the back a little bit here, I've got to be careful. <coughs> I tell you what, Team B are up in the low to mid fours all of a sudden, really cranking it up to chase us down. That's a strong looking time so far. I kind of, because the others started a bit further back, I'm not absolutely sure what their start times are without looking at the sheet. So I can't really work out how fast they're going, but it looks like all the groups are sticking together very well anyway. Okay, so we're approaching the, the hilly sections now on this first lap. Uh, team B, just 17 seconds off the back of us now. And uh, I think this first climb is going to be where they pass us. And here we go, Team B coming past. Good job, guys. Oh, dropped my towel. <laughs> hey, thanks A Rand for the ride on. Good to see you. Oh dear. I need a a decent downhill stretch I can jump off and grab my towel. Oh, we need 
need to try and let Matt Bannon come back in. He's dropped off a couple of seconds now. It's easy to do when you crest one of those climbs into a fast downhill. <laughs> ah, there we go, that's clarified it. <laughs> Matt Bannon's just noticed his profile is set as a female. I don't think, other than getting the green jersey, I don't think it'll make any difference. As long as the weight and height settings all correct, I don't think Zwift gives any other kind of uh, advantages or disadvantages based on gender. <laughs> right, so Keith is definitely keeping an eye on Catherine. Team G were five seconds ahead of Team C on the KOM. As Mr. Keith Denton very kindly just pointed out. So, at the moment, it's uh, the upper hand to Mrs. Denton. Okay, so Team A. Well done guys for one lap, good job. I am dying, <laughs> and we gotta do that again. Jesus Christ, that is not fun. I've not been much help at the front either. Did a couple of pulls, that's about it. Team B, absolutely flying. They're now a minute and 15 ahead, just the two of them, and uh, Team C, just 37, 36, 37 seconds behind. Team E, of S. Scott, N. Simpson, and uh, uh, N. Clement, no, no, sorry, N. Clement's Team C. Uh, Len Capel, 203 behind. Uh, having overtaken Team D, uh, Jason Arbluster, Dan Lell, and D. Crook. At, uh, oh, sorry, no, D. Crook is Team G, so. Uh, Dan Lel, oh sorry, it's Colleen Wade, isn't it? Colleen Wade, Jason Arblaster and Dan Lel at uh, about three minutes off. And team G, I can only see Inga and Catherine at the moment, they're 3.56 back. I'm pretty sure they started at six minutes after me. So, <laughs> a lap time of about two minutes quicker than ours. But hey ho. You never know. These other guys might be burning all their matches. <laughs> How did I just get a green jersey? <laughs> I have no idea. I assume I was, I was second when I did my warm up. And uh, whoever was first has obviously just left the game. Uh, see, I've, I've lost my jersey to that pesky Inga Batman. <coughs> I've only so I inherited it by pure, pure, pure fluke anyway. So. See uh, Team C in the background there, coming up pretty fast. That's not a pretty sight. I'm changing the view. I don't want to see that. Oh. Hey, there we go. Look at this. Team D. Sorry, Team C. Putting on a show for the camera. Good ride, guys. Well done. That's uh, Clements. Mr. Denton, 
and uh, 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 Dee Murphy, sorry. Good job, guys. Well, I've got some serious lag going on at the moment. Oh, not enjoying that. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah! Oh, my screen recording stopped. Oh, dear. Oh no, this is a disaster guys. I don't know what's happened here. Let's just save it there. And I'll try and get it started again in a moment. I need to get back into the race. I'm not quite sure why that would be. I'm wondering if I filled up all the Hard drive space. Right, got to try and maintain a pace and see if I can just quickly delete some files. Uh, and get rid of the eel parata files. Cheers, C. Durham, for the ride on. Much appreciated. Go on, going slow now while I'm trying to concentrate on this. Right. Get rid of those, into the trash can. Right, see if we can get another recording going. Now I think that is recording again, so I'll try and tie everything up. Hey, cheers Cameron for the ride on. Oh dear, that's typical, having technical problems at that point in time. All right, let's just hope that this will record the remainder. Sorry for the lack of commentary in this one, but oh, it's been hard work. I'm not good at these flat courses. Have I ever mentioned that before? I think I might have done once or twice. My teammates have been phenomenal. I know they could go a lot faster than this. They're both B category riders. And uh, are clearly having to back off to sort of allow me to latch back on again every so often so apologies to you guys I know you would have gone a heck of a lot faster had your original rider Kenneth Scramstead been in the team but uh, I suppose this was the whole point of it uh, I'm not sure fun's the right word but I'm pretty sure it's a good event I do like the format still of mixing up the teams Maybe it's not so fun for the guys that, that can go a lot faster. All right, quick recap on what, what I can see is going on. Team B, four and a half minutes ahead, just the two of them, Paul Shack and Craig Sharp. Stunning. Then we've got Team C, D Murphy, K Denton, Mr. K Denton, N Clements, 50 seconds ahead. Then myself, Matt Bannon, Cameron Flynn, Team A. Then we've got the mighty Team E, S Scott, L Capel. N Simpson, just one and a half minutes behind now, and they just another minute back. We have Team G with Catherine Denton, Inga Batman, 
and Dave Crook. Oh. And Team D, I can see Dan Lell there at 2.42. So they're right with Team G as it currently stands. Cameron putting in a really decent dig up this uh, 23rd Street climb. Managed to give me a nice little slingshot up there as well. Oh, there were no uh, negative splits for me on this one. Definitely slower on the second lap than on the first. The uh, computer problem didn't help, but that certainly wasn't the reason. All right. So, a little bit of a break in this downhill for the final long climb up to the finish. Oh, dearie me. It's been a killer, that's for sure. All right, here we go. Last horrible climb. Amazingly, we're catching Team C on this final climb. I mean, they're still <coughs> a minute ahead of us, even so, that's good going, guys. Alright, last hundred. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Oh. Alright, so. I'm over the line. Looks like the E's just coming up to the line. Actually, the A's, that's all it has us. So here we go. We've got N Simpson for the E's and Len there just coming over as the, uh, the back rider for the E's. Great job, guys. There we go, just see S. Scott and Simpson over the line. And there goes Len Capel over the line. And then coming further back, we've got our green jersey holder, followed by, uh, which is Inga Backman, followed by Catherine Denton and Dave Crook. Now they started a long way behind us, time wise. And they're going to come in only a couple of minutes behind, that's incredible. Now this is um, this is one of the teams I had in mind to, to win the whole competition and uh, it looks like that may well be the case. Um, ironically I did actually also have Team A uh, before Ken unfortunately had to pull out through illness and uh, obviously I just <laughs> I slowly averaged down quite significantly. Um, so yeah in my mind it was a real shootout between Team G and Team A. And it looks like Team G are going to take this. <sighs> have to keep an eye on the time that Team C did as well. They were really quick. I mean, obviously, we caught them towards the end. Uh, but they started two minutes behind us. So still beat us by just shy of a minute. <sighs> but I'm pretty sure this team here, Team G, are a good couple of minutes ahead. So we'll just watch them come over the line and then we will flick back to just 35 seconds behind we've got uh, team g so here we go we see catherine denton 
Inga Beckman and Dave Crook. Well done, guys. Great job. <laughs> Just getting a message from Cam saying, great stuff. Had to cross the line before that other team. Quite right, my friend. Quite right. Always worth chasing them down, even if it was just for a little bit of pride. Uh, right, so, well done Team G. And look at this, Colin Wade wearing the green jersey, the orange jersey, and the KOM jersey for Team D. Great job, Colleen. And I think she's put in a serious kick there to leave her, uh, leave her teammates in, in her wake. Because there she goes, over the line. And following on shortly will be Team F of M. Larson and A. Beveridge. Well done, guys. Good ride. Again, started well behind us. So I think, I hate to say it, but I think we're going to be one of the slowest times out there. Or, in fact, we're definitely going to be one of the slowest times, if not the slowest. Um, I have to see who started with three riders and who's only finishing with two. Team B absolutely flew and they only started with two riders so they're certainly not going to be penalised for not having a third rider across the line. Uh, right so we now need to go back to Team D. We've got Dan Lell and Jason Arblaster coming over just to complete Team D. So their time will be taken from Jason's time I believe. So good job guys. And I think, I think that's everybody. All right, so, unfortunately we don't get a finishing order because it's not an official event. So I've got some work to do through Strava, trying to get all the times together, check who was the second rider of each team, or sorry, the third or final rider of each team over the line so we can use their time to get the finishing order. And I will get the results uploaded as soon as I can. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I thought that was absolutely brilliant. It was really tough, really tough. Um, and like I said earlier, possibly not as much fun for the guys that could go much faster and were, were lumbered with us slower guys in their team. But um, as an event, I really enjoyed it. And I'm so grateful for all you guys, especially the, the Europeans who started this at midnight. Obviously, slightly less, uh, less uncomfortable timing for... Uh, American, Australian, New Zealand, etc. But um, well done to everybody for, for getting up or staying up this late for, for a silly little race on our computers. But uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. It looked like there was some good competition going on out there and I really look forward to getting the results together. So uh, I'm going to wrap this up. Again, massive thanks for everybody for riding. Thanks very much for watching. And um, keep checking the WKG forum for more events like this. I'm going to try and put as many of these on and I'm going to try and get some regular just group rides or training, easy sort of training rides or, uh, I, I don't know, just sort of social rides together for two reasons. One, I was thinking about it anyway. I think it would just be nice to get together in a non-competitive way. And also, thanks very much to um, Robert Massimo Baudi from Team ZHR for pointing out that uh, it's, it, it helps towards Zwift offering you a custom kit within the game. I have requested it a few times and um, being told that they're not, they're not working on, on new kits at the moment. Um, obviously, they have more, more pressing matters with regards to game updates, etc. Um, but apparently, if you do regular group rides and regular social rides and just have a, a, a greater prominence within the game, um, then they, there's a possibility that they actually will come to us and offer us the custom kit, which I would love to have the Lovelo kit design on, on Zwift. I don't know about you guys, but I think that would look absolutely awesome. Um, so I'm going to work on that and um, it'll just be great to get some social rides together anyway. So uh, keep checking the forum and uh, I will, uh, I'll update you as soon as I've got some more news on that. The next race, incidentally, the next WKG race will be the fourth round of the, uh, the racing league. And uh, oh, I better check my schedule, but I'm pretty sure it is the Spartacus, which means we're actually back on Richmond again. So um, unless the timetable doesn't allow for that, then I might have to shift it a day or two either side to make sure, but I think it does. So anyway, I'll keep you updated. Million thanks for, for joining us. Uh, apologies to everybody that couldn't make it through illness and other commitments. It would, um, uh, it would have been nice to have had everybody there, but thanks, a special thanks to the guys that stepped in as substitutes towards the end and, uh, and made it a really fun event. I really enjoyed that one. So 
Thanks guys, catch you on the next one. Ciao.